Thanks for rolling up to my Marley Certified Pothead. Smoking on one of my, uh, what is this, bro? This is one of my, um, my one of my evening J's. This AC right above me, though, keep making my shit go out. Still, we still gonna smoke this bitch. You know what we need to do, Bird Club, RT, and you. Run those numbers up, man. Break down the subscribes and twist up those like buttons, bro. Let's go ahead and, um, slip slide. Slip slide, slip slide over to, to, to the day's story, bro. And see, um, let's see what we got going on around here. A crop of nuns is worshiping not the Holy Spirit, but what one calls the holy plant, cannabis. The marijuana business on the rise, and now even some California holy rollers are getting a piece of the multi billion dollar industry. Uh, some time ago, bro, we had, we had, we had seen a story on some shit, um, uh, in Cali, uh, was a church of cannabis or something. Um, I wonder if it's these people. I don't know. Let's let's go on and see and see what's happening. According to the firm BDSA, Americans are projected to spend nearly fifty billion dollars a year on cannabis products by the year twenty twenty six. Twenty twenty six, bro. You don't think uh cannabis industry is fifty billion right now? Let me see, fifty billion is a big ass number, but yeah, it's a lot of weed in circulation. That's nearly double U.S. sales right now. The Sisters of the Valley are rolling right along with it. They're hoping to convert a few non-believers along the way. Here's CNBC. Sisters of the Valley is the, uh, that, that's the grow up of, uh, of nuns. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's hear from these ladies, bro. See, Frank Holland. They may look the part. Hold on real quick. Hold on real quick, bro. Yo, that's not that's not what I was thinking. That's not what I was thinking. Well, what I was thinking was Sister Mary Clarence, bro. <laughs> From Sister Act, bro. That's what I was thinking, bro. But these nuns are not religious, at least not in the traditional sense. I you see that French in hell, but no, bro. Do say the words holy plant. Cannabis to me is is holy. Sister Sophia is one of ten nuns whose devotion to the so-called holy plant has turned into a budding business here on this one acre farm in California's Central Valley. I re Hold on real quick, yo. Are are these are these authentic nuns, bruh? Are these nuns that are sanctioned by the Catholic Church? Like like are these are these authentic nuns or are these just rogue rogue women? Uh, 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 plan dresser reached for something that could make profit, could make jobs, but would be honorable and allow for individual growth and individual freedom. The founder of the city, uh, we will do all of that. We will do all of that. So, so I'm with you. I'm with you, sister. Sisters of the Valley, Sister Kate says they generate upwards of a million dollars a year in sales producing and selling CBD products from oils and soaps to their best-selling topical salve, which she claims can help with arthritis and joint pain, skin conditions, even migraines. I hope. Okay, so they, they selling CBD products. All right, so, so it ain't like, the, you know what I mean, they, uh, they grow it, they grow it, they it's selling, selling out the church and shit, you know what I mean, selling, selling, selling 20 bags out the church and shit. They, um, they selling lotions and, you know what I mean, uh, and, uh, healing ointments. Hope that in 20 years <laughs> from now, there will be so much research that we really can't look away from this plant, and we're all calling it a holy plant eventually. These nuns are on TikTok. <laughs> they, on, they on TikTok smoking this shit, bro. Yo, you can't smoke on TikTok, bro. Uh uh, uh uh, uh uh, pull the blood out on TikTok, bro. They pulled that video fast as fuck. Plant eventually. Their gospel of cannabis is spreading. The Enclave boasts tens of thousands of followers on Instagram and TikTok. And in an area plagued by some of the highest unemployment rates in the state of California, Sister Kate plans to grow the business, adding new product lines and recruiting others to join her mission. It's important that... Yeah, I wonder if we can get them on the podcast, bro. If we can get these nuns on the podcast, I would like to talk to uh, talk weed to these ladies. Oh, yeah, bro.
I'm sure that would be interesting in this conversation. People know that we're not just ditzy stoner nuns, and more and more the doctors are open to plant medicine, and they're very friendly towards what we're doing. And cannabis does have religious roots. In fact, there are references to the plant in the Old Testament. More recently, newer religions have emerged, including cantheism, like the Sisters of the Valley. Cantheism connects cannabis and spirituality. Shep? Frank Holland. Thank you, sir. Cantheism. I never heard of that shit. But I'll fuck around and be a cantheist. My bro, we might be looking up some goddamn cantheism, bro. <laughs> See, see, see how I could, uh, how I could, uh, praise the Lord through cannabis, bro. I'm all for that, my dude.